you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naja and I make college or lifestyle related content. And today I am back with another video. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I have a consistent uploading schedule now. I'll be posting twice a week, every week on Mondays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern time or 3 p.m. Pacific time. Just so you guys know when I upload, you can turn on the notification bell or you can follow me on Instagram where I always post a story or a countdown about my next video. So today's video will be all about how I take digital notes in college. So I'll be talking all about how I take notes on my iPad and my laptop, the apps I use, how I study on it, and just all the ways that I made a transition from paper notes to electronic notes because it has become a lot easier to keep up with everything when it's not on paper and it helps me with different levels of organization that I don't think paper notes can really do. If you're interested in seeing the way I take and organize my notes, make sure to continue to watch. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you have any questions. So the devices I'll be using in this video are my iPad, which is a seventh generation, and my MacBook Air. I'm not sure which generation it is. It's a rose gold MacBook Air, and it was gifted to me by my godfather, so thank you very much for that. And I was fortunate enough to buy my iPad using scholarship money, so I'm very grateful for the devices that I'm able to have and take notes on. So to take my notes, I use this iPad, which is a seventh generation in black, and I think it's 32 gigabytes. And I also use this Apple Pencil, which is the first generation Apple Pencil. And this is how my laptop is set up. And the note taking app that I use is called Notability. And I also use Google Drive and Google Docs. So now we're gonna look on my iPad. I'm gonna screen record so you guys can see. My home screen is pretty blank. Um, it just has a black background. And as you can see, the dock below is kind of cluttered, but this is really helpful for some of the cool features that are available on the iPad, such as multitasking or split screen. So I'm gonna show you guys that later, but for now, I'm gonna show you the main app that I use to take notes, which is called Notability. And this does cost about $8 on the App Store, but it is worth it in my opinion. So this is how Notability looks. So you can have all your notes in one place, and on the left, you see there's all notes, recent notes, unfiled notes, and then there's also different subjects that I created that correlate to each class that I have, as well as YouTube. So for example, if I go into my introduction to psychology folder, you can see my chapter notes, my lecture notes, and it starts a little bit late because I got the iPad mid quarter, but I began to take digital notes and it's been really helpful so far. So let me just show you guys an example. My lecture six notes, as you can see, this is on sensation and perception, and I try to make my notes visually pleasing and kind of colorful and just organized just so that I'll actually want to go back and look at them. Instead of just taking kind of bland notes, I guess you could say, it makes me want to actually go back and study them because I like how cute they are. So this is another example of learning, lecture seven notes, and my handwriting is a little uh, janky, but I think I'm getting better. So here's another example, lecture eight. So I just do different titles and different tables and diagrams and stuff just to make sure I'm actually synthesizing this information. I'm actually comprehending it and taking my own notes. So those are just examples of the things I do just to make my notes a little more visually pleasing. But now I can show you guys like how it actually works because I think it is super, super helpful. So as you can see, when you open Notability and you open a new note, basically, you can choose which kind of paper you like. So if you click on the little um, wrench, you can see that there are different types of paper. There's different colors. There's different like lines you can use, grids, dots. But I'm very basic and I just use lined notebook paper. And so each time I always go up here and I say the title of my note. I'm just going to put example note. And then right here, here's a pencil that you can use to write whatever you need to write. So here's the example. And you can change the width of the pencil if you want, or you can change the color, which of course you guys saw me using all kinds of different colors. So here is my example title. And then you can also type, I don't use this feature as much, but there is a feature where you can type. And you can change the font and stuff. You can make it bigger or smaller if you need to. So there's the font and you can make it big or small. And then there is a highlighter feature where you take your highlighter, choose the size you want it and the color, and then you can highlight 
whatever you'd like to highlight. And then to erase, they have this eraser feature at the top. You can either erase the whole thing or partial parts. So I'm just gonna erase the whole thing. See, I just erased the highlighter and now I'm gonna erase all of this. And then another really cool feature that I like about Notability or just these note digital note taking apps in general is that if I ever wanted to move something around like I do in um, Google Docs or something like that, I can select the scissor tool and then I can outline whichever thing I want to move around and I can move it. Or I can also change the style. So if I wanted to be a little thicker, which I don't because that looks ugly, but if I wanted to make it thicker or thinner, I could do so or I could change the color make it blue, make it orange, or I could even duplicate it, or I could just copy it like this and then paste it somewhere else. But the main thing that I like about Notability is that I can record the lecture as it's going on. And as soon as I write my notes, for example, I'm gonna be writing my notes as the lecture goes on, blah, blah, blah. My professor is talking, teaching, and as it's recording, it's also recording your screen. So let me show you how you can play it back. So if you play it, you can see that my text is kind of transparent. And as I'm saying the words, you can't hear it, but as I'm saying the words, my text is popping up. So it kind of records your screen. When you play back the audio, it'll show what you were writing at that moment that the professor was speaking. I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but it's a really cool feature. So if you want to record lectures and like go back and listen to them, or if you're trying to study and you want to hear what the professor said, you can go back and do that with Notability, which I think is a really cool feature and it's really helpful. Also forgot to mention that with Notability, you can insert photos, GIFs, anything that you need to supplement your notes. So for example, when I was learning about the amygdala, I wanted to input a diagram and I just used this photo. Um, so I pressed the plus button and as you can see, you can upload a picture from your photo library. You can take a photo, scan a document, use a GIF, a web clip or a sticky note, which is pretty cool if I ever needed to say anything. Oh, another cool thing in Notability is that you can open multiple apps at one time. So for example, if I'm on chapter six notes, but I wanna look at maybe the lecture six notes, I could also open that up and put it to the side. And I could see both of these notes at the same time. So that was how Notability works. But the other thing that I take use of in Notability is the ability to import PDFs and write or highlight. As a social science major, I have a lot of readings to do all of the, all of the time. So importing PDFs and being able to hold that in my hand and just read and highlight and annotate as I need to is really helpful. So that is Notability and it allows you to separate all your classes and stuff. And if you ever need to upload it to any other outside platform like Google Docs or anything, they also allow you to do that. So you can sync the um, folders or any of your notes and everything with Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or these other platforms. And I sync all of my notes back to Google Drive and I have a folder called Notability. If I ever need to access the notes on my phone or my iPad or my laptop, I'll be able to go back and see them. And then another thing I like is that you can choose different themes. So I'm in the light theme right now, but they have a dark theme, dark blue, and other things that you can purchase. And it also allows you to set your default note paper, um, the typing default, your handwriting, and you can password protect your notes. That's pretty much it. I really enjoy Notability. I think it was a good purchase and a good investment in my education because it allows me to organize everything and it seamlessly backs it up to Google Drive. And I promise this is not sponsored. I just really love Notability. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys was the ability of the iPad in general as a whole just to increase productivity. So the iPad has a couple of different features that I use that are really, really helpful. The first one is this thing called split screen, which I use the most. So split screen is basically I'm gonna have two apps open at one time and I'll be able to work on those apps simultaneously if need be. So for example, I have Notability open right now. If I slide up and choose an app on the dock, so if I choose Safari, say, I can just pull it out, put it over here to the side and it'll open up besides um, 
notability. So as you can see, I can touch both of these things at the same time. Everything is working. I can still write on here and do this. So I think that's a really helpful aspect of the iPad because it kind of allows you to have two things open at one time. I can even have three things open. For example, if I needed to open my calendar, hold on. If I needed to open my calendar up, I could just open it like this. And now I have three of these things open. Here's my calendar, here's my Safari, and here's Notability. So that's a really cool feature. This is called slide over mode. So I could just slide it over here. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna show you guys, let me close this out, which I still don't know how to do. Another way that I take notes or that I used to take notes prior to having my iPad was on Google Docs on my laptop. So for example, in Google Docs, in Google Drive, I have a whole organization system um, that I can make a separate video on. But for example, this is my Stanford folder that has all of my classes and the syllabus for each class. And then I also have the notes that I used to take and the assignments for each class. So for example, here is my social and economic impact of AI class where I used to take notes on the laptop. So here are the notes that I used to take. This is from our first lecture. There was pretty short notes, but um, now I take them on the iPad, strictly on the iPad to be able to hand write, which helps people remember more things or comprehend more. Notability has the option of typing notes. So if I wanted to take the notes on the iPad, I still could. So that's why I really like this iPad. I feel like it's a really versatile tool that I can use to take notes in any type of way, whether it be handwritten or typing. So I feel like it's a good in-between of a laptop or a notebook. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. That is how I take notes in college, how I organize my notes in Notability and in Google Docs, Google Drive. So I hope you learned a little bit about my digital note taking methods and hopefully it inspired you and showed you some of the cool things that you can do with an iPad. So if you're fortunate enough to be able to get an iPad or any tablet or a technology to be able to take your notes on, be grateful for that because it is a super cool tool that a lot of people don't have access to. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Monday and Friday. And follow me on Instagram if you have any questions or comments or just want to keep up with the video uploading schedule or anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.